Hey, this is a match once again with the Bet Tonight videos. This is a paid request for Bronson. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. The links will be there, there, or where YouTube puts them now. But Bronson wanted me to react to a video called 29 Facts You Did Not Know About the Haunted Mansion by Dice Roland. Now, I won't be showing the video because I don't want to steal the, the guy's video, especially without his permission. Plus, YouTube's type right system is so broken that who knows what they'll do. I mean, I know people get away with it. To me, let me put it this way. I remember I put did a review for a film. I put a 30-second TV spot, and three years later, it got blocked. But then people nowadays, they can watch the film for 30 minutes with footage, and they'd be perfectly fine. So, you know, YouTube loves their picking their favorites. But either way... I have the link in the info box as well if you want to follow along. Whenever you're on your computer, you could have me on one window and this in another window, however you see fit. Follow along with me. It's 7 minutes and 35 seconds, this video. So here we go. 3, 2, 1, pressing play. Nope, it's not. Sorry, it's did not play. Let me try this one more time. Apologize. Three, two, one, pressing play. All right. <clears throat> I mean, I didn't really want to know any facts for Haunted Mansion. Just, I think it's an awful movie. <laughs> really lame Eddie Murphy film, in my opinion. And then did another Haunted Mansion that... Ah, Bronson requests this. Okay, cool. So you requested this video, then me to react to it. So that's cool. Yeah, not a fan of this movie. Eddie Murphy playing the typical I'm the workaholic dad that doesn't have enough time for his family. Ah, so Corey Burton does the same thing. Ah, the Three of Swords is Betrayal. Okay. Ah, it's Robert Minkoff's nephew. Okay, that's cool. Makes sense. You want to put his family into it. That was based on Disney ad, okay. Oh yeah, Gene Wilder, What Knockers. I guess there could be a reference to that, maybe. Really, that couch was in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea from back then? That's strange. Hmm. I didn't know that California had a problem with ravens. That's interesting. Ah, uh, the Dapper Dance, those singing stuff. Okay. Should have known it was a barbershop quartet. It sounded like what well, one would be. So, as, as mentioned, references to the rise, that makes sense. Oh yeah, Terrence Stan was in Bowfinger, that's right. Okay. Ah, uh, the Locked of the Gate, yeah, they have the Mickey Mouse ears, yeah.
breathing door, the bus who. Hmm. He's mentioning all the stuff that references between the ride and the the movie itself. It makes sense if you're doing a movie based on the ride, you should definitely put references to it. Granted, if you've never been on the ride and you just watch it as a movie, you're not going to get those references. There's probably a lot... If there are people that saw it, there might be a lot who saw it that had never even been on the ride. Hmm... So originally it was going to be in New York, but they went to Louisiana. Hmm. Hmm. Disneyland Resort Paris. I didn't know there was one in Paris. I guess Euro Disney, that stuff. Really? You had to ask a parapsychologist help to make the film? Hmm. Hmm. Haunted Mansion in the 80s with some of the Ghostbusters actors? Okay. Hmm. Anthony Hopkins and Don Nuts, okay. I do remember that routine, yeah. Eddie Murphy stand up about being a haunted house. <laughs> I remember that, yeah. So the little boy was older than the taller girl. <laughs> well, there you go. I will say it's a well-edited video, and it's actually interesting. Oh, Boris Karloff, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of characters. Huh. Okay. So Dice Rollin', O R O L L E N. I guess you know what? That was better than I thought it would be. Because I'm thinking, okay, what am I going to, you know, I don't really like the movie. But I've said before, to be fair, I've said before, even if I don't like the film, it is interesting to learn information about a film because to know about, to know about the backstory or know about the history or know about details. And okay, you know, I, I like hearing about that type of information on movies, good or bad. So uh, this is actually, it was well edited. It was concise. 29 themes, but you put it at a fast enough pace, it's seven and a half minutes long. So it fits that right time frame, so it doesn't lose people that, I only have 10 minutes, oh, it's seven minutes, I'll watch it. The pictures they utilized and the way they went into the frame wasn't blasé or lazy. The, like mine would be, because I don't know how to do that stuff. And, yeah, good wealth of information. I didn't know there was a haunted mansion in the 80s that they were thinking of with 
I think he said Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd. I guess Hal Ramis said Rick Moranis. That would have been interesting. The one couch from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea from like the 50s? Makes me wonder like how that couch still stayed around. Or was it they made it in reference to that? They made it look like that because they wanted to reference that movie. Maybe because someone was a fan of the movie. So hey, do you have a couch like that? To look? That's probably what what the, the meaning is pertaining. I mean, I don't know how he got all this info. I mean, I would think maybe IMDb trivia, but that doesn't always have stuff there. So, overall, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. That was pretty neat. I mean, I didn't just want to repeat what he said, because you just watch his stuff, and you would have much more of an actual artistic video to it with editing and the pictures and all that stuff into it. Again, it's just, I don't do that a whole lot because YouTube gets mad at me when I do it. I've tried to do that a couple times before and they're like, oh, you're blocked or whatever. But anyway. That was pretty good. So, thanks once again, Bronster, for the request. I mean, as for reaction... Like I said, I mean, it was pretty much me listening to what the guy was saying. But yeah, the... The stuff about the... The Three of Swords. Is that okay? Okay, the little paper boy is the director's nephew. Made sense, he won his family in there. The, apparently the way this couple saying at the restaurant is a reference to an ad. I didn't know it was a reference to a certain ad that was so annoying they took it off. The Watt Knockers, I mean, maybe that's the case. I mean, if you're doing horror comedy, Young Friday Stay would definitely in your, be in your mind, be in your merit. So, could be, but this seems like nothing that's been proven, just inferred. Again, the couch. Nice looking red uh, couch there. The Dapper Dans. I always thought those busts were really annoying in Haunted Mansion. It's pretty much the bases of the Yapper, the, the Dapper Dans, the, the busts that were seen in there, and then what they were referencing to look wise. Pretty much references to how it's pertaining to the rise. This was in the rise that we put into the movie. Which would seem like, of course. Uh, yeah, it, it's again. It's funny they made another adaptation of that that no one watched and no one cared about. Terrence Stamp forgot he was in Bullfinger. Nice reminder for that. So images of Mickey Mouse's ears, of course, made sense. They do a lot in Disney productions. I didn't know that it was supposed to take place in New York, and I guess if it was in New York, they were based more on the Haunted Mansion Disney World. Disneyland Paris, they just had a different story to their Haunted Mansion. Parapsychologists, I mean, I don't know why you would need a parapsychology. I mean, I don't think it really helped the film. Obviously, the most interesting part was the, the 80s Haunted Mansion. And yeah, apparently, at one point, Anthony Hopkins might have had a role, and then Don Knotts, but then didn't work out, which is too bad. I mean, Eddie Murphy referencing... I already knew that, so it's not like I didn't know. I mean, I knew that Eddie Murphy. But I don't know, it's pretty raunchy stand up, both of them, Delirious and Raw, so I don't know how many kids will be going out to watch those stand up. Other than me. But yeah, I mean, that was, I thought, pretty cool. That was actually. Nicely done video. I didn't mind that. Good job to, to Dice Rowan, if he ever sees this. Again, didn't want to steal your video. So, yeah, check out his link, and you can watch it without me mumbling around through it, which would be a lot better than this. But thank you, Bronson, for your kindness, man. Really appreciate it. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.